guys, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, tankers of Blitz Universe to the channel. RNG giveth and taketh. And for those of you who do not understand what RNG is, I doubt there are many people who do not understand it, but RNG is a random number generator because you do, for example, on a tier 10 heavy tank with a 122mm gun, you do an average alpha of 400 per shot if you penetrate. But that could be as low as 300 and as high as 500. And it's basically a dice that is thrown once you shoot a tank. And then um, RNG decides uh, it should be a, a low roll or a high roll or uh, it should bounce or not. Because even with a penetration it's not a 100% guaranteed pen. If you can penetrate the armor of an enemy tank there's also a bit of penetration when it comes to RNG. And um, this game <laughs> from Hill, help, help. Help Immerberg from the Hells Clan in the Arctic. He sent me this one uh, quite some time ago. And he said, well, this, I had fun. This was my first game. And this is a game where uh, it's not much of RNG, basically, but I rewatched it when going through all the files I had recorded, through all the replays that your people sent me, because, God, you sent me a lot. <laughs> you sent, really sent me a lot. Um, but I rewatched it. And I just, and especially after rewatching, look at that. You see it in the middle? He's spotted now. He is spotted. He clears the IS uh, 5, but he is spotted. The red team knows that he's behind this bunker. He uh, bounces a shot from, I think, the, what was it, T 54 E1? That what is basically stuck. It has the 4 shot autoloader instead of the 3 shot. But he is spotted. They know he's here. That is a red jack tiger. Could the jack tiger possibly just completely ignore him and sit in front of his gun? Could could that be, or is he is he waiting in an ambush? I mean, buggy is in an ambush. Could the jack tiger be in an ambush? Um, no, not. He's showing his ass. Thank you very much. I'll just uh, shoot you up the ass then. There we go. Yes, and another one in the ass. Surprise butt sex is always fun. Four nine. You can just you can just farm a damage, and. Even if he's farming the damage and the red team are complete muppets, so is his team by the looks of it. Because it's actually becoming, in terms of numbers, quite a close game. You can see it. It's, uh, it's a 3 on 2 now. He is shooting this uh, E75. There we go. Oh, it's a Tiger 2. E75 is rolling in. Bump into the Tiger 2. Yes. Can he shoot him once more? He will kill him. Come on. Yes, we can. Lovely stuff. <laughs> Four kills. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, well, that's a big, that's a big tank destroyer. Uh, to my, uh, to my flank. Uh, I, I might as well, I might as well res uh, reverse now and then bump into a, uh, the building. I, I shot him. Uh, I exploded. Easy. <laughs> just RNG kisses and take it. Sometimes you get a red team that just uh, is completely clueless. Six point four kill, <laughs> kill damage, five kills. <laughs> easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Thank you, mate. I had fun watching that one, and yeah, in terms of gameplay, it isn't spectacular, but hey ho! Sometimes you get games where you can do just big numbers, but thanks to Red Team and, and, and the Greens not performing, you can keep shooting your gun, and then uh, you get a good game. It's, it's like people make a pact. It, it's like the Reds and the Greens are made a pact to be completely oblivious to what is happening on the game. And this is uh, for Dummy One, um, which. Uh, Name I will not translate into English because of fear of uh, fear of demonetization. But he is in the Chieftain Mark VI, and uh, Dummy is uh, he's held down, and that's good. He's platooned up with another Mark VI, as you can see, and uh, they're gonna fight on the bridges. They're gonna fight on the bridges. They're gonna fight on the land. They will. They will just hold their post. They will not back down. They will never. Never, uh, never surrender. And that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to sit here. He's been taking an eye on the minimap, and all these little bits over here on the bridges have been placed there for a reason. You might think, "Oh God, that's annoying." There's a girl in front of me. Yes, everything has been placed there for a reason. Um, this shot is funny. You have a really <laughs> quick gun with APCR, with excellent muzzle velocity, and a point blank range. On a grill, you miss. That's also RNG for you. You have the dispersion, but that's just 
hovering around and you can see it's uh, it's one minute and, and and 30 seconds into the game and he's only penetrated one shot which gave him a lowish rule of 351 and he's got he's got the work cut out for him it, i mean it's it's there are two tanks down he hasn't he has not killed a single tank yet and he doesn't kill this one because aren't you said screw you i'm going to give you a 350 roll <laughs> And you can see they are losing the game. They are going to lose uh, another tank, I think. This T61 is stupid enough to blunder out uh, uh, into the open. His teammate is nearly down in the, in the uh, Chiefs. And then, yeah, then you might as well uh, drop down over here and lose some health. Because you have to clear a tank now. It's three versus six. He's trying to shoot, but there's a big container behind as well. 770 damage done uh, at the moment. But you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, no, you haven't. Look at that. What's he gonna do now? What's he gonna do now? I mean, he's got 507 health left. And his uh, Pazuma just exploded right in front of him. And he has got a teammate. He has got a friendly tank destroyer uh, over there, which is a Yacht Tiger that has some, uh, some, some good DPM, a good gun. That is an E75 in, in there. Pounds on the side of the turret. This is not looking good. He hasn't blocked a single shot yet. But in true Closian style, you ain't seen nothing yet! You ain't seen nothing yet, baby, yes. One versus five, that's one shot blocked. Are we counting? Three ten blocked. That means that's a stock E75. It doesn't have the big gun, that's good, that's good. That's an AMX 5120 that has an autoloader. One shot blocked. And wait for it, wait for it, boom! And jing, jing! Yes! Three shots blocked in a row. And suddenly he has blocked uh, 2350 and he's still on 507 health left or something like that but a little bit of ramming he can clear the afino yes bounces another shot from the e75 yes there we go can he clear the e75 no we can't he has a very thick ass by the looks of it because i think he's gonna bounce off his ass as well no can he clear the yes with hash into the side of that amx 5120 and his hard work is starting to pay off because he has been really accurate in his firing he has been penetrating uh, a fair few shots in a row which means that after three in a row, you get the fourth one, get a high roll. And he, he got a good roll on the, on the hash. 517 is not a max roll, but that was all the AMX 5120 had left. So that's all well and good. And then he's going to get a <laughs> lowish roll. 368 on the lower plate of that E75. And he's a one shot now to the E75. The E75 is a one shot to him as well. So that is good news. But the biggest problem at the moment is the fact that there's a there's a big fat red E100 left on the red team. Now we do not know where he is. But the E100 has got a big gun. He doesn't need RNG to uh, yeah, maybe accuracy with dispersion. But he doesn't need uh, a high roll to kill uh, for, for dummy one. Because uh, dummy is a one shot. I think that a splash with a she would kill him. And oh, he spotted again. Can he? better a shot in him. No, he can't, but luckily neither can the E75, who has a broken engine as well. It's not completely mobilized, but the E75 is not a really mobile tank to begin with, but having a broken engine, a damaged engine, that's even worse. Right, let, let's let's see what we can do. Just run away and then hope you don't get spotted by the E100. No, don't go there, mate. That's the dead end. Yes, left, my, uh, right. I make up your mind. Pick left or right. Doesn't matter. Just pick left or right. Right. Right, he's gone right, right. Um, then he is, ooh, that's the E100, he's full health! Run away, back down, no, don't, don't do anything, don't shoot me, don't shoot me! E100, what are you doing? E100 isn't doing anything, well, he's going to run away now, he's respotted by the E100, the E75 knows where he is now as well. One Sleep King, says it he, uh, 62A, oh, there's the E75, yes, he cannot, yeah! Great stuff. That E75 was behind the wall. He could not see the weak spots. But of course, Fadomi knew that he could penetrate the side of that E75. And then there you go in the chat. Faker, lucky, but Efker, Ataki, says another guy from the green team. Stupid bidiot, you don't deserve it. Because this E100, and that's, <laughs> this is really lucky. This E100 is AFK and he gets set on fire as well because he uh, went towards uh, B cap which isn't there because it's an encounter not a supremacy <laughs> this is just talk about damage farming 
The luckiest game ever played by someone on World of Tanks Blitz, also stated by for w one He gets a mastery, of course, 7,562 damage dealt because of an AFK E100, but yeah. This is <laughs> RNG Gifted and Take It. It's a lucky game. It fits in the theme. That's why it's on the channel. And then we have this one. The Stor Emil, uh, driven by Timmy Grabby Putty from the underscore B-O-W underscore. Which reminds me of Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean back to school. You know, you know where he's participating in a judo master class? Bow. Bow. And, and then he's, he keeps bowing. And the, the guy who's given a master class also bows. And then he bows right all the way down. And then Mr. Bean sort of walks around. And then um, he... Uh, I'm not going to give... You should, you should look it up on YouTube somewhere. It's good. Right. Um... You can see that uh, Timmy is in the Amiel with uh, just a choice of two types of ammunition because he's got a big gun. He has a really big gun with AP and HC. That's all he has and he hasn't got a lot of ammo either. And if you're on this postage stamp map that is called uh, Copperfield, then it might indeed be a good idea to just go towards the back into that corner. I've shown it before on a video. Uh, and just go into the corner and wait it out. I mean, he doesn't have a scout. There are no scouts on, on his team that went towards the northern side of the map. And if you have no scouts, then you should not uh, go to halfway the map, uh, to the center line. He is spotted himself, puts a good shot into this uh, p 43 ter And he's calling for help now because he's getting bum by that M41 Bulldog. Luckily, he knows what he's doing. Shoot the Bulldog. There we go. HG. Yes. AP is still back on. Good roll. And the M41 Bulldog bounces. Two shots. Because uh, the Amulet, yeah, it doesn't have a lot of armor. But it has a thick gun mantle. That is RNG for you. He shoots into the ground, which is unfortunate. But he has been careful in positioning. He's behind uh, the hill now. Has popped Adrenaline back to HC. Can he shoot the... Uh, uh, Bulldog? No, he can't. And <laughs> he bounces again. <laughs> I think that Bulldog just auto-locked on him, uh, probably on a PC, but it's stupid. If you are, if you're auto-locking on PC, you auto-lock Santa Mass, and just take a look at the size of the Amiel. Yes, it is, yeah, I, I, I've just explained. He, the size of the Amiel is such that an auto-lock probably locks on onto the gun mantlet, and the gun mantlet is thick. That's a thick boy gun mantlet. You will bounce with the gun mantlet. I think you might bounce now with the lower plate as well because it has been buffered. The uh, stubborn amule um, in 6.4, something like that. It, it, it's still a glass can. I mean, look at the size. It's huge. They can be penetrated with HE. You will not bounce a lot of shots. But every now and then, you get a game where you just go lucky. And uh, this SU 100 y is just rushing forward. I'm thinking, why? Yeah, help, help! What are you doing? You're with an Amiel. You are the box tank, of course. And yes, you can kill this uh, IS. No, you don't have to kill the IS because that's uh, what, what Timmy did for you. But Timmy wasn't able to save you, and the reason for that was because you overcommitted. You overextended into three guns. Just do not do that. It's stupid. Just, I mean. 9 out of 10 times, I'm, I'm not going to say it always works, but 9 out of 10 times, 2 guns versus 1 win. 3 guns versus 1, 9 out of 10 times win. It's still blitz, so it doesn't always work. And as I say this, 2 guns versus 1 usually wins. Well, this game is not in a, in a lucky, lucky Games video for no reason. So you have already probably figured out what's going to happen. Uh, but the, the, the Wi-Fi over there, he's playing it like a boss. You can see what he's doing. He's resetting his camo, and he is trying to shoot, and he is being really careful in his movement. But this B-Field 43 tur is not all the best. It was a best. It wasn't the tur, it was a best. He wasn't that um, careful. And that's, from the Red's perspective, pretty annoying. I think, actually, that the Amu being that this big... Tank destroyer is, is is pretty blind to be honest. This is a good <laughs> that's a good spot where the T29 died. He has a bit of cover from a dead T29, but you can also see that this uh, 
this uh, uh, firefly, this Wi-Fi tank, he is now just trying to farm Timmy. And he's resetting camel. He's, he's doing all these things right. But what he's not going to do well is keep approaching from one front. Timmy's going to just sit here and wait it out and just zoom in a little bit more. And then he has to drive all of the... Uh, the T29, and you can see the Wi-Fi is uh, then uh, rolling backwards again. But Timmy's just going to sit here. He's not going to blow his camel by, by moving around. Uh, he wasn't <laughs> He wasn't blowing his camel by moving around. He has now blown his camel, but he realized that, that this is also a good thing. Because by the time that Wi-Fi decided, oh, it might, be a good day. it might be a good idea to flank. I've been watching Mountain Douglas videos, and he always tells me to flank. Yeah, you did, mate, but you should have flanked a bit wider, or maybe a bit earlier. Um, but because now, Timmy has got you outplayed. Boom! Big shot in there, yes! And then the Wi-Fi shoots the building, I think. No, he doesn't. He's coming in. He's coming in. All goes blazing around almost now. Timmy is done now, yes! Tim yeah, Timmy's done. He's done for. And the Wi-Fi, he is... Come in, he bounces again. He bounces yet another shot. This is a one versus one. It's one minute left. The clock is ticking. This is the final countdown. Do -do -do -do. Yes, come on. Yes! There we go! Victory! He's won! GG! And Timmy Grabby Party, who's just a regular guy, gets a first class and a high caliber in this medal, but also a steel wall in the Stubborn MU, a tank that is not really renowned for its armor. But hey, it's Blitz! So, yeah, bit of a lucky game, but a good one. I enjoyed that one. Thank you very much all for watching, and thank you Timmy Krabby Party for sending that one and allowing me to use it on the channel. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll catch you all on the next video. Bye-bye.